everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Udita. And today I am doing yet again something very exciting with Vanessa actually, since this is a together collab type video, because we are going to be doing a 24 hour readathon yet again. This is Vanessa's first time and my fourth? <gasps> I already have a large cup of coffee so I can survive throughout the day and then, you know, maybe I'll be motivated to not fall asleep when Vanessa is here. The first book I'm going to be reading today is House of Salt and Sorrows, which is a fantasy novel. And this literally sounds like The Twelve Dancing Princesses, the Barbie movie, but it's just darker. This book is about 12 sisters who live in this manor at the sea. Over a certain time period, I don't know which time period, four of the girls have already died. And one of them, named Anna Leigh, is increasingly suspicious of her sister's death and also what's happening in the manor. Because every night, all of these sisters go to secret balls and they dance with people, but they don't actually know who they dance with and now they're thinking that they might be dancing with ghosts. And yeah, this just sounds super exciting. I hope I absolutely love this book. We're going to be starting to read at 11, so in half an hour, and then we're gonna read till 11 tomorrow morning. So let's get started with book number one. I am ready. Me too, girly. Has salt and sorrows. Crackety dappity. Oh! oh! Dang it. <laughs> Yay! Okay, let's go. Are they mermaids? We are born of the salt. We live by the salt, and to the salt we return. Science! It's already getting intense. What? There's already so many secrets. <gasps> what the heck is happening? I don't know if she's a villain or not, or if she's just really stupid. I hope she's just really stupid, because I actually kind of like her. Whoa. Okay, I did not see that coming. Did I misread the back? Oh, I think this is a horror book, not a fantasy book. This is about to get scary. <laughs> am I blushing? I think I am. There are so many secrets. I cannot wait to find out what they are. Okay, I'm already 52 pages into this book and it's so good so far. I absolutely love it. We just got introduced to every single one of the sisters, obviously four are dead, RIP. But there are a lot of mysteries surrounding not only the sisters and the manor, but also like the town they live in. So I'm hoping we'll find out what actually is behind this. So far, I have no theories at all. <sighs> Why can people never listen to small kids when they tell you dangerous stuff like this? Listen to kids. We just got introduced to another person. And that person is indeed very suspicioso. Ah! And this is so good. I know exactly what's happening right now. What? I am indeed very confused, guys. Nothing is making sense. Oh my god, the men in this book are literally so awful. Are you kidding me? So I just reached chapter 11 and page 97 and a lot of things have just happened. Anna Lee is going through stuff, let's just say that. She's going through things, she has to be very strong. I could not be this strong, I would indeed be crying and running away. I would be traumatized. I'm so excited to see how the rest will go. And yeah, I think I'll just read the next 100 pages and then give you all an update. Of course, of course. No wet, no wet. Do you guys know that show that goes, Inspector Gadget? Yeah. Anna Lee and Inspector Gadget are one person. Because she's about to inspect the world. But it's just a story. It's never just a story. Never. There's always truth. And we're going to find out what it is. Oh. Oh. My God. This is so good. Oh. <laughs> this is getting so good. Ooh. I don't mind, it just got really weird and strange and disgusting. Uh, yeah, this this is screaming danger. I think you should run away right now. <gasps> oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh I have died, I am deceased. This is so good. Are you kidding me? Oh my god, stop it right now. Oh, what the heck. That was a quick change of feelings. Amazing, shocking. No way. What is that detail and why do we have this? Oh. 
traumatic. I did not need to read about that. I just reached chapter 21. The book is really good. I'm loving it so far. I still have no idea what's going to be happening in the next 200 pages and what the plot twist will be. I don't even know if anyone is lying or not. And I also don't know what's real and what's fake because of the ghosts. I do want to say, however, that if you have watched The Haunting of Hill House, Verity is literally Nell. I'm gonna continue reading now the other 50% of the book because I'm halfway done and it's just super amazing. Yeah. I already want my monster because I slept so bad last night. But the only thing we have in the fridge is Coca-Cola with no caffeine, which is literally so stupid. Shut it's because Vanessa thought we like would ever not need caffeine. <laughs> Stop! I'm already blushing just because he said love. It's Aaron Warner, of course you're blushing! It's the husband, it's the hubby. The oh, hubby of all hubbies. He is. The cover is, by the way, so Barbie. It's very naughty, this book is not enough. <laughs> Can we ever get enough? No, we can't. <laughs> <laughs> the caffeine is hitting. <laughs> oh, yeah, it is. <laughs> Sit down. <Ugh. laughs> I think I have a feeling I know what's about to happen. I'm very excited for it. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> this is so good. Oh God. Oh, oh no. What is this giant secret that is going to be revealed? I am so confused. Do we want to scare Vanessa? Bra <laughs> you really want to die tonight? <gasps> That's literally disgusting. It gets even worse. <laughs> That's so disgusting. Why is it so detailed? I don't want to eat now. Uh, it just turned one o'clock and I just finished chapter 30. I'm on page 310 now, but I just experienced one of the most disgusting chapters I've ever read. Why was that thing so detailed? I did not need to know everything. On top of that, in the last 100 pages, this book took a full turn. 180 degrees turn. Nothing is as it was before. I'm still very careful and mistrusting to a few of these characters that we're introduced to because they're acting very, how do you say, fishy. So let's continue reading the last 90 pages. Oh no. Aaron, come on, Aaron. Don't do this to me. <laughs> I love this. I hate this right now. <laughs> what the heck? Okay, I, I feel like something's gonna happen. I need to prepare myself. Girl! <laughs> this is so shocking! Everything that's happening is confusing me! Ah! Oh my god, I swear if it is who I think it is, this book is being tossed around my room. Shut the... Don't do it. Do not do it. So sad. I literally, I think I just reached the epilogue of this book and I think this is a standalone. I just finished. This was so good. Yeah, um, I just finished my first book of my 24-hour readathon. The ending was amazing. I absolutely loved the plot twist. I mean, I think I loved it so much because there were so many theories that could have been fulfilled in the end. And then the final one was so good and I did not think about it at all. Yes, I had my own suspicions in the beginning, especially, but then they were all gone again. Was it disturbing at points? Yes. Also, I think the writing was pretty interesting because of how detailed a lot of the things were. You were so hooked. I, I really didn't want to stop reading. I wanted to continue because I needed to find out what was going to happen next. And I felt like every single scene had a meaning and was supposed to lead to the final result in the end. And I loved it. If you want to get into fantasy with a little bit less of romance and like mystery and horror stuff, this could definitely be for you. I'm debating which book I should read next. I want to do a romance book because I feel like mystery after mystery could be a bit, you know, much. So I'm going to be doing Better Than the Movies next. I feel like this is going to be a great afternoon read now. But first things first, I'm going to eat now something because I'm hungry again. We're reading better than the movies. I'm very excited. So let's go crack the spine. 
This one was way smoother than the first one, thank God. Next door nemesis, is this enemies to lovers? How often do I have to say this, Medita? Read the back of the book. Anyways, this book is about Liz, who is a senior in high school and also very much a hopeless romantic. And one day, her childhood crush returns back to their school and she has now made up this idea in her head that he needs to take her to prom. But she doesn't know how she can get him to actually take her to prom, so who does she ask for help? Wes. Now, who is Wes? Wes is her childhood nemesis and also next door neighbor, and Liz somehow convinces Wes to help her with everything, including the prom situation. And from there, the story develops. Now, you can kind of guess where this is gonna go, but I'm not gonna explain too much. So let's just continue reading. The characters so far remind me a lot of the characters from Betting on You. Mind you, I had a bit of an issue with Betting on You, so I'm wondering how this will go. I mean, so far, it's pretty okay. She has said some things where I would have been like, why did you say that? But it's fine. <gasps> the parking spot? Jaw on the floor. <laughs> That's actually really funny. I didn't even know this was a prank idea or that this prank was a thing, but I shall try it one day. Wessie! <laughs> I, I think you're gonna like this book as you get more into it. Uh, it definitely is funny, but she's a bit... No, she is weird. Ooh. Ooh. Oh my god, that's so embarrassing. Sink into a hole, please disappear. <gasps> oh no. Why, Liz? Why? Okay, I just finished chapter 5 on, on page 104. This is a very, I would like to say, cliche, YA, tropey book. I already know where this plot's gonna go, so that's totally fine. I already read Betting on You by Liz Painter, and I feel like she writes very similar characters. But the most annoying thing for me so far is she has this one plot line that she uses in Betting on You as well. And it annoyed me in that book already, and it's already annoying me in this book as well. I hate that plot line. I never liked it in any type of book. I never understood that plot line. That one is definitely making me a bit, how do I say, annoyed and mad, and it's triggering me. I'll I'll continue reading it, and I'll see where this goes. Ugh, stop doing this. I'm getting so annoyed. I don't like Liz. Oh my god, this is so... I can't, I can't. I can't freaking see! Oh! Julia Quinn is in here? A Bridgerton! <laughs> my butt is on fire because now the sun is burning up my butt and I'm wearing dark pants. Can <laughs> I not have any comfortable position? <laughs> Okay, everyone, it just turned 6 p.m. and I'm on page 196. I am liking lists less and less. So far, this is still to me like a three-star rating. It's pretty average. It's meh. It's not something outstanding. I'm having a few cute giggly moments, but the rest is just like average. I do, however, still love the quote over each chapter. Like chapter nine now says, love is patient, love is kind, love means slowly losing your mind. I mean, come on! Who doesn't love quotes like that? That's really all I have to say so far. And let me just continue reading. Oh, that's what I drink. Venti ice americana with soy latte. Soy milk. I love soy milk. Ugh. I am so exhausted. <gasps> oh, a quote from Love Actually. If you look for it, I've got a sneaky feeling you'll find that love actually is all around. No! I thought she improved! Ah! That's such a cute sentence! and it's now 10 minutes to 7. I honestly am baffled by everything that just went down. Anything that could have gone bad just went bad and we're all just at rock bottom again, I guess. But a few scenes happened where I was just like super majorly confused about why it went down the way it went down. There were some super cute scenes. 
very cute scenes. And then the next day, boom, poof, disappeared. Happiness destroyed. I really wonder how all the problems are going to be resolved in 50 pages. We'll see about that. Uh, this book is now at a good 3.5 stars, I would like to say. And Liz is still not my favorite main character, I would like to say. I do get it, but some things just don't make any sense to me. So yeah, let me read the last 60, 50 pages and then I'll come back to you. Oh my god, that was so awkward to read! What was that? I think I know what's about to happen and I'm kind of excited for it. My god, I'm on the epilogue, guys. A girl will never forget the first boy she likes, but she'll also never forget the first boy she hates. Stop! That's a good quote! I'm done! And look at the ending picture! Um, so I finished Better Than The Movies by Liz Painter. I think I'm still going to be giving the book 3.5 stars because I don't think it deserves 4 stars, but it also doesn't deserve 3 stars. And even though I really did not like Liz throughout 70% or 80% of the book, in the last 20% she, um, she owned up to her mistakes and she got a lot better. So I really like that still. And then Wes obviously is a very much average school guy from YA books he's like that's like the average boy next door guy if you know what I mean yeah I still really liked the message with the mother in this book and her past and why Liz is the way she is that was still very nice to read about so that's why it's gonna get 3.5 stars so let's go make dinner really quickly and then start book number three Yummy, yummy. Guys, we're going to the supermarket to get coke because we need caffeine. Yeah, we, we need do. It. Guys, we got the goods. We are ready to pull an all-nighter. Guys, look at this lying girl. She's not reading. She's eating and on her phone. How dare she consume nutrition when we're supposed <laughs> to read for 24 hours. Just kidding, I also ate. But I'm about to start reading again and it's 8.010. I'm reading Not So Perfect Strangers. From the bag it says that I'm a big believer that women should help each other, Tasha. She says, don't you think? Because apparently this is about two women who are in really, really toxic relationships and they meet. And then it says here that they want to help each other out to leave these marriages. But then somehow there's a collision with the homicide unit. So I'm very excited to read this, and yeah, I'm gonna start as soon as I put the clip down. Let's get up. <laughs> I'm such a lady. Okay, let me crackity dackity this neon yellow spine, neon green spine. <gasps> oh my god, this is already starting off so good. So far, I love the women and I hate the men. Whoa, red flag, red flag. I can't go through that again. What do you mean again? And what secrets does he have? Oh, I'm not ready for this. I really don't think I will be. <sighs> you okay? Cook went on my airway. Oh. I love it. Here, ready? And I'm a big believer that women should help each other, Tasha. Especially women like us. Women in our situation. No one else understands what we're going through. They don't get it. They can't. Who else can we turn to beside each other? Oh my god. What are you suggesting? Do you know like Taylor Swift? I think he did it, but I just can prove it like nobody, no crime. I wonder if that song could fit to this book. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Wait, 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 wait. I'm so confused already. I thought they were gonna live, laugh, love and set off into the sunset together holding hands on horses. I mean, the back says you think you know what's happening, but you don't. Because I feel like I don't know what's happening and I also don't know what's happening right now. <laughs> What's going on? <gasps> ooh, ooh, no, no, no. I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't read this. Why, 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 why? Oh no. Okay, we're gonna skim read this. Uh, goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. So we just got another hint about the past, and then yet again says, I told you the last time and I meant it, I won't do it again. What do you mean you won't do something again? What have you done in the past before that's so bad? I want to know. <laughs> The thing that was just dropped was dropped so casually. It should have not been dropped this casually. What? 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 It... What? Okay, I just reached page 104. I'm on chapter 17. 
this book is way more intense than I thought it would be. It's moving very fast paced, so I'm wondering what the rest will be about. I really like how a lot of social issues are being discussed in this book. Oh yeah, by the way, so far this book is probably like a 4 out of 5 stars. I really like it. Let's continue with chapter 17, which that was Madison's perspective. Another giant secret was just dropped on me. I don't know if I can handle all of this. When? What? How? Oh! <gasps> Oh no, oh no, 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 Don't tell him that! Oh my god, that was my first yawn of the my first yawn of the day. It has not even been 12 hours. That is not good. I'm really confused on how this book is supposed to end. I have no idea what's going to go on and happen here. So I just reached page 202 and chapter 28. I don't know what's going on and I think the rating has gone down a little bit, which is a bit sad. I think this is now like a 3.5. In the last 100 pages, a lot of crimes were committed. I also have noticed so many red flags and so many other characters, which is actually kind of scary. Anyways, I'll continue reading the last 100 pages. What time is it right now? 10.20. This is so bad. Was that a threat? It was definitely 100%. Like, I know it was. <gasps> Shut the front door. I did not expect it at all. Holy hell. Oh my god, another plot twist. I, I, uh, 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 what? What? I can't. I can't. <laughs> this is so good. I finished, what the heck, what the heck. I don't know what to say, I don't know what to do, I don't know what to rate this book, I don't know anything anymore. I absolutely loved the plot twist in the end, okay? I thought it was super cool. The last 100 pages were definitely very interesting. I feel like the middle was a bit like um, dragged out, but the end was amazing. I don't know what to do with my life, I don't know what to rate this book. I don't know, I don't know what to rate this book. I think I might give it 3.5 to 4 stars and like round it up to 4 stars on Goodreads. This premise of the story is amazing. Did the back, however, completely mislead me? Yes, because the story went a completely different direction. I thought it was gonna go from A to B to C to D. No, it went from A to Y to W and then to L for some other reason. I don't know what happened, but I was shocked at every corner and every action the main character made, I was like, I don't know how you ever decided to make that, but you did it anyways. What I did or ever really like about that was the surprise, the little guest moments all the time. I'm happy I finished this, it was good, I'm happy I read this. I can now actually tell Michaela about this because she has wanted to read this, read this book for a while now as well. Let's go do some jumping jacks. <laughs> I'm waiting for Vanessa to finish her top so we can go to the gas station because it just opened two minutes ago. So we can buy that monster! And then I'm gonna sit back in the chair, which I think it might help, hopefully, so I don't fall asleep. If not, I will literally be reading sitting up. I'll even read standing. I'm not falling asleep. Okay, so I'm gonna be starting book four of today now. It's, I think, shortly past midnight. And we're going to be reading Cruel Prince by AJ from the Royal Hearts Academy series. Um, but basically this book is about a girl who apparently left four years ago and now she's coming back because she's a senior. And now she's forced again to face Jace Covington, her first friend, her first crush and her first kiss. And now he wants to make her life a living hell and this entire family basically just hates her. So we're gonna see what happens here. The spine of this book is sadly over a crack because someone, aka Vanessa, wanted to actually read this and never did. Yes, mate. Okay, we're starting off strong with just lots of family trauma being thrown at us. Love it. What the f <laughs> This is so disgusting already. Ooh, why does he talk like that? It's hard to find a hottie with a body that will let you shift out of park and stick it into drive right away. Oh no, Liam. I'm gonna cry. I already know. 
Okay, I'm done with the first 100 pages of the book. Basically something happened like uh, like four years ago. I know everyone still hates Dylan. I don't even know what Dylan did. Yeah, I'm just super tired. I don't even know what time it is. I don't even wanna know what time it is because then I will see how many hours I still have left of this bull crap. So yeah, I guess I'll just continue reading it. We're going from zero to 100 so fast. Why are they in the closet right now? And why are they doing these things? I thought they hated each other. Oh no, Liam, I'm so terrified. I don't want to read this. Cause he's so nice. And he's 13. I'm gonna cry. <laughs> Guys, look at Maddie cry. I think I need to start reading trigger warnings of books. Is that in here? Oh, there is. I didn't even know. Okay, guys, I just reached page 199. Um, I'm on chapter 27. I do not know what time it is. All I know is I'm very tired. Something else I know is that I cried. I hate all the main characters. The only character I like is dead. And that's literally horrible. I don't like the bully romance trope or like how they act with each other. Their relationship is really weird. Dylan and Jace just don't have any chemistry in my head. How are you doing over there? Not good. I don't understand why she's dating a guy who bullied this kid so much. I don't understand this, why she would do this. It's so disrespectful. What the f Her cousin? Her aunt. What? Yeah. Guys, oh look God. at her. <laughs> she is dead. It is. Can I crack your back? You want to crack my back? Don't kill me now. I'm yeah. so scared. Okay. <laughs> I want to live. I make these so important. Die me, finished the book i hated it i don't even know what to say it's so bad and it's getting one star i don't even want to talk about it anymore this book is getting on hold i, I have nothing nice to say about this book i'm gonna take a short pause now because i need to calm down mentally again because this was just a tiny bit triggering you know it is 3 44 <laughs> it is time for harry potter poses okay this is the first one she has to recreate you're doing amazing, sweetie. That's <laughs> this is my favorite one already. <laughs> oh damn! <laughs> this is the next. <laughs> oh my God! Oh my God! <laughs> All right. We have seven hours left. Shut the fuck up! I don't want to. I can't anymore. I'm about to start my fifth book, and that is Wild as the Witch. I've been reading a lot of short books though. The tropes inside are forced proximity, loath to love, meddling owl. I don't know what meddling owl is. Secret identity. There's only one tent. Oh no, you're hurt, and it's a contemporary fantasy book. I'm even too weak to crack the spine. The Polly Pocket song is stuck in my head. Gonna be, gonna be the best day. <laughs> gonna be. I bet you think it would be if I took a 10 minute nap. That would be so weak. You're not- I am weak!
can't turn back now, but can't even read one page. I give up. Wow. <sighs> she has a wolf. I'm running with the wolves. I might have slept. I know I didn't sleep for that long because I still was reading after 5 a.m. and it's now a little bit before 6 a.m. Let me let me now continue. I just want to be over already. I just reached page 146, which is halfway through the book. I'm just so tired, like no emotions are like registering in my head, so I'm I'm like not, not I'm not feeling anything. <laughs> I'm not Okay, the exact same thing is happening over and over again. Like, they're just in a tent in the forest and discovering new trees. That's all that's happening. And he has binoculars for some reason that are, like, very expensive, apparently. Oh, and there's a lot of, uh, like, kind bars. <laughs> I just finished my fifth book of the 24-hour readathon and that is Wild is the Witch! I think I'm gonna give this book three stars. It was okay. It was meh. It wasn't really as magical as I thought it was going to be. One, because the powers the witches actually have was kind of disappointing because they were like, it's just an extension of nature. Well, I don't want just an extension of nature. I want you guys to be able to fly and be like BB Bloxback, okay? <laughs> and the beginning was definitely very, very, very long. I don't think I would classify this as a fantasy book. There's like minimal witch stuff. I think there's like four scenes in total where magic is actually being used and the rest is just normal camping adventures in the forest of Washington. So that's where we're at right now. I'm extremely tired. I hate this. I don't want anymore. It's about to be 9.30. So we have like an hour 15 left. Oh, we have an hour. Oh no, 8.30. Ah! I'm going to be reading um, Nothing Burns as Bright as You by Ashley Woodfall. You have to talk into both cameras. And it's a poetry book. Who? <laughs> Opposites distract, opposite destroy, opposites decimate, opposites detonate. Opposites are fun as hell until they aren't. Who asked you? Ah! What's he doing? Ah! Stop! Oh, no. <laughs> ah! I pick up. I have a hiccup now. Right when the video. <laughs> <laughs> but I just finished Nothing Burns as Bright as You, which means I'm done for today. I can't do any more. I've seen enough letters for the rest of my life. I don't want to read another word, okay? Okay. <laughs> I can't. I, I don't know why I decided to do this again. I obviously did it with Vanessa just because she wanted to do it. Do I regret it? No, but was it fun? No. Ah! The first three books were actually a lot of fun, but then these three were absolute torture. Anyways, before I get into my outro, let me give you my rating of this book. So Nothing Burns As Bright As You is, I think it's supposed to be still a short story, but it's kind of written in like the way poems are written in verses. It's actually a very interesting story. It's about loving someone who doesn't really love you back or is not putting enough effort into a relationship and is not giving you everything that you give them. So it's really interesting and it goes from the ups and downs. It starts off with the honeymoon phase and ends with their heartbreak and them falling apart. I think I might give this book actually 3.5 to 4 stars i would like to say maybe even four stars because it was fun and i'm just like i have no energy left so i feel like if i had more energy now i would actually give this four stars so keep that in mind so i'm finally done with a 24 hour readathon i read technically six books which is the most i've ever read but the last one obviously doesn't really count as a full book in my opinion this is more like a novella this is probably fully written out only 100 pages so i wouldn't really call it like a full book and then most of my books were also really short i think this one was just barely above 300 so this is the end of my 24 hour readathon i hope you enjoyed it and if you did you can give it a thumbs up and you want to see more of my content and other reading vlogs you can subscribe definitely tell me if you have any other methods that help you survive a 24 hour readathon because i yet again fell asleep yeah thank you again so much for watching i hope you all have a great day even at your morning whatever time zone in i hope you enjoy yourself go read a book and i think you all should read house of salt and sorrows as i already said this book was pretty amazing again thank you all so much for watching today's video have a great day happy reading and see you next time bye